Happy Friday, y'all. It's Friday. Get up. Do something productive. And have a good weekend. Let's start off. It says, Believer's Responsibility. It comes from Luke 3 and 22. As we saw yesterday, words are but one part of our communication. Now look. Now let's look at two types of messages we should purposely model for the kids in our life. First, children need affirmation that they are loved, accepted, and competent. The very things we see the father speaking about to his son in today's passage. We must give children a sense of security and belonging so they won't look to unhealthy sources for acceptance. And the way we care and provide for them will help them grasp the Heavenly Father's love. Second, children learn godliness when it is modeled. Reading scripture aloud and sharing stories of the Lord's involvement in our life are both important, but our everyday actions matter just as much. What we do should match what we say and testify about God's love. For example, we can't expect kids to understand the golden rule if we act with selfishness, arrogance, or insensitivity. Modeling a godly life is often an intentional pursuit, like studying scripture or serving as a family on a mission trip. It can also be as simple as and unplanned as picking up a piece of trash on a neighbor's lawn. But keep in mind that actions and words aren't always perceived correctly. Check that the child's understanding matches the message you hope to communicate. Your words and actions teach lessons. Children need to know beyond any doubt that they are treasured and capable. So be mindful about giving them the tools they need in order to follow Christ. Remember, God doesn't expect perfection. He'll guide the willing heart and cover mixed steps with his grace. So, so true. Kids are very impressionable. And like I said yesterday, they watch what you do and not what you say. You know, a lot of times as parents, I remember people say all the time, do as I say and not as I do. That's good to tell a person that, but people, you know, that's just like if you a manager and you tell the people to treat the customers with respect and you don't, you know, there's a problem there. There has to be some consistency. So, y'all, today is Friday. It's the weekend. This is the last weekend of September. Y'all, next week will be October. This year, the days are slow, but the months are fast. Isn't that something? Look at God. And we're still here, so that's another shout for it. So y'all have a good weekend. Make someone smile. Talk to you later. Bye.